everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video on my channel where I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on a few new products that I've bought recently. The few products in question are the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in shade 01, Freedom Pro Artist Create Your Own Custom Palette with two new pans in it, and also the very infamous Revolution Neutrals vs Neutrals Palette. This is apparently based off the Anas this is apparently based off the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I really wanted to try that but I thought I would try this dupe of it first and let you guys know if it lives up to my expectations. So just looking at the shades in this palette, as you can see they're very warm and red toned shades so if you're not into that then this wouldn't be a palette for you but that is the sort of colours that I feel really work for my skin tone and everything so I'm very excited to try this. In the Freedom palette I have two pans so far. This is the blush shade in 04 and the contour shade also in 04. Apparently, according to Sophie's nails, these are very. <laughs> Apparently, according to Sophie's nails, these are very good shades for pale skin. So I'm going to give those a go for you today. And obviously, the foundation I got in the lightest shade because I'm very pale. I've moisturised my skin as I usually would to make this a fair test. I'm going to apply the foundation with my Revolution Soft Sponge as I usually would, so that everything is fair. So the bottle that the foundation comes in is very, very high-end looking which would make sense because this foundation is £29.50 from Feel Unique so it wasn't cheap but I thought I really wanted a good foundation that would suit me and I thought this would be the one. It comes with a little pump which is always a plus thing and makes me love it already. The shade looks good, she's got a very wide selection of shades so that's always a good thing for dark and pale skins. So yeah I'm going to apply a bit of this on the back of my hand and see how it goes. Okay, so that's the shade, as you can see. It's very yellow toned, but also very fair, which is amazing. Um, I'm just going to dot it over my face, I think, first, then blend it with the sponge. I might do that on one side, and then just put it on the sponge on the other side and see which goes on better. But yeah, let's give this a go. I look great right now. <laughs> so, so far, already the colour is perfect. Not too dark, not too pink toned just a perfect neutral pale colour which is just like me um I haven't seen really anyone in particular talk about this but I've seen a lot of people over time mention it so I just thought I'd give it a go because it seemed to be perfect and exactly what I was looking for I don't know if you can take this seriously while I've got like dots all over my face but okay so far just that bit it blended flawlessly and you can already see the difference that it looks amazing so already I am very happy with this ok yeah this is really blending really easily and it looks like skin, it doesn't look like I've got a layer of foundation on that looks so good, oh my god ok if this is a new favourite foundation my bank balance is not going to appreciate it oh god I'm just going to apply this so the same way actually because I feel like that's the best way to apply it just so we don't add too much foundation and it's a fair test so that was like one and a half pumps and it seems to have covered my whole face like seemingly well so it doesn't seem like you need too much either to give it a good coverage so far I would say it has got medium coverage maybe medium to full I wouldn't say full coverage in one layer but I think that's a good thing because you can get whatever coverage you desire rather than automatically going in straight to full coverage which means it is better for a wide variety of people not just people looking for full coverage we should obviously see what she was going for when she created this foundation I can really see the difference so I'm going to apply one more layer and just see if I can build it up because buildability is a really important point for me a little bit more, I feel like you can really control how much you pump out as well like you don't have to do a whole pump okay, the, the colour is absolutely perfect it's not orangey at all, it's not pink which is great because I don't think anyone actually has a pink face yes, it's definitely buildable really easily buildable but it just it doesn't sit on top of it, it just blends seamlessly oh my god, I feel like this is going to be a new favourite I'll pay the price of a good foundation. Yep, definitely really easy to build. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my foundation, then I'll come back to you when I'm gonna use the eyeshadow palette and give that a try. Okay, so I've done my base makeup and I've done my eyebrows, so I look a bit crazy right now. 
But I'm gonna now try the eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna go for like a ready, smoky sort of look. I don't know. But yeah, let's give this a So I think looking at this palette, I think I might go for one of the pale shades just put all over my lid as a base colour. Then maybe go in with a transition shade like this or this. And then add a bit of red through the crease and see how we go. Using the brush that came with it to see what that's like as well. So I'm gonna use this mirror to get a bit more close. And yeah, they've got pigment, which is always a good thing. I can't stand it when eyeshadows are chalky and have no pigment, but I have tried Revolution eyeshadows before and I know that they aren't normally amazing, so I had quite high hopes for this. So that blended out really nicely and not much to say about a base colour. Um, I'm going to go with their little brush again, but I don't know how long I'll be using this for because it's not very fluffy. I'm going to use one of the little transition shades and just buff that through the crease. Very lightly because I haven't really got much of a defined crease because I have quite hooded eyes. So doing this is a very important step, but if you mess it up, it can look very bad. So, so far I'm very impressed with the pigmentation and the blendability and how smooth these eyeshadows are. Um, I do think that the quality of them is amazing for the price. I mean, this palette was like $6.99 and the quality of them is like insane. But seriously, you can't go wrong with the quality of these eyeshadows for the price. They are definitely worth giving them a go at least. The shade looks great. So now I'm going to go in, I think, with this colour here and then maybe a bit of this one as well. Um, I'm not going to use that little brush because it's quite small, so I'm going to use my Real Techniques fluffy brush. Um, not very fluffy, I know, but best I've got, okay. So I'm not trying to take too much. I did like tap a lot of it off because I don't want to go in with too much it straight away. But you can definitely see that pigment there. If I just like swatch it on my finger, that's one of them. Like, seriously, that is some insane pigment. That pigment is insane! How have I not tried this palette before? Oh, I feel like this is going to be the palette that I wear for prom. I feel like this is going to be the one. With these gorgeous like red tone colours because that would definitely go with my outfit. I won't tell you what my outfit is but I'm going to tell you that it's a peachy pink colour. So yeah, so excited to be using this. So there's like that pink colour through the crease. I know it looks a bit odd because I haven't really got a crease but what I have got, I think it looks pretty good. I'm almost just going to buff a little bit like in the outer V. Smoke it out a little bit. Make sure it's really blended. Yeah, I really like that colour. That looks great. I'm looking quite crazy now. I've blended that through the crease and I'm really happy with how it looks so far. Looking crazy, but I always do. I'm going to take a bit of the darker red shade. So that. Oh, hi. I'm going to take a bit of the... I can't even hold it. I'm going to take some of this shade right there and blend that right in the outer V and then maybe a bit of this dark one. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I'm just going to take some of the darker colour under my eye to even out the amount of smokiness. Really loving this look so far. I'm seriously in love with these eyeshadows. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, yes. Yeah. I need to do a video on these. Okay, I need to keep this. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, I need to do a video on these because they are insane. I think I might take a tiny bit of the dark brown as well and just buff that on the outer edge. Just to add a bit more definition. And I think we may be done with the eyes. Yep, loving that look for sure. So I'm going to go and apply some mascara and some eyeliner and then I'll be back to do some contour and blush. So I've done my eyeliner and mascara and I'm really, really happy with this eyeshadow look. I think I might Instagram it, you know, but I'm going to contour now using the, I'm going to contour now using the Freedom Pro Artist Pan in Contour 04. I'm just going to take some of my Real Techniques contour brush, tap off the excess and try and contour a bit. Okay, so this shade is definitely like the perfect contour for my skin colour. It's not orange toned at all. It's very, very ashy toned. It's perfect for contouring. 
but at the same time it's not dark so that is like perfect if any of you out there are pale skin peeps like me then definitely I would recommend watching Sophie's Nails that's the first thing because she also has your pale skin struggles and she's just an amazing person currently watching her right now that's an advert but that's what I'm doing watching her right now as I film this video so yeah I really do like this contour shade I, I think it is the perfect contour colour. I mean, it looks crazy intense from the side, but I think that looks pretty good. Don't know what you guys think. If you think I look ridiculous, then let me know. But I'm really happy with that. Like, seriously, I've got some actual cheekbones now. So I'm just going to contour this side as well. Hope I can get it even. And then I will come back to you guys when I'm going to try the blush. For contouring now, I'm going to apply some of this blush. It's a very nice pinky, peachy colour. Don't know if it will go with this look. But I want to test it out with you guys. I'm only going to apply a tiny amount because I want the eyes to be the main attraction with this look. But the pigment is definitely there. And it definitely is a really gorgeous blush and they are like three pounds each and the palette is five pounds so again really high quality for a really really amazing price and because you guys know i love highlights i'm going to be using this revolution highlight from the revolution ultra blush palette in sugar and spice because this is the gorgeous most gorgeous most gorgeous most gorgeous highlighter ever and i love it the glow though Seriously, what the hell? So gorgeous. And this foundation looks insane. Like it's settled into my skin now and it looks amazing. Oh my god, I'm oh, seriously. Oh, so many amazing things I'm using today. Oh my god. For lips, I'm just gonna keep it very nude, so I'm just gonna use this Rimmel lipstick in 08. Because I really want the eyes to be the main feature and I don't want to take away from the look. So that is the final look using these new products. I will update you throughout the day how these products last. If the eyeshadow phase, if the blush contour phase, if the foundation looks like crap. I will update you guys and yeah, I'll see you in a bit then. It has been about half an hour since I've finished applying my makeup. My arm is like this because I'm currently holding up a blind that's broken in my bathroom so I can get some good lighting to show the makeup. I am so impressed with everything I've tried, like the eyeshadow looks so good I mean I don't know if I've done a good job but the product itself is amazing the foundation looks insane and I am really really impressed with it so yeah I don't think you can see properly how good it looks but honestly so good the contour product amazing the blush so so far really really good reviews of all the things but I'll update you in a few hours and see how the makeup's holding up and it is very rainy today so that should be a good test it has been a total of five and a half hours since I applied the foundation, the eyeshadow, the contour and the blush. And right now I am really, really impressed. I had to reapply some concealer around my lips because I've been trying different lipsticks on so I've been wiping that off. But that's just, that's going to happen if you use a makeup wipe around your mouth. So that's looking a little bit patchy just around here. But that is down to me wiping it off with a makeup wipe. So that's nothing to do with the foundation foundation on the rest of my face still looks insane and I feel like it still looks really flawless like, I feel like I could pass this off now and it would look brand new I would happily go out now and say that I just done my makeup because I'm really happy with it the eyeshadow hasn't faded at all nothing contour still looking good blush slightly faded but not really a lot nothing really noticeable yes I've had a blue slush puppy don't judge um, so that's why my lips are a little bit blue but yeah, so far I am super, super impressed and I would so far say that the foundation is definitely worth the money and for the price of the others, like, if you just, even if you just wanted to give them a go, then go ahead because they're so cheap and the quality is insane and so far that's lasted five and a half hours and it looks amazing, so yeah, definitely recommend that. Okay, so it's been a total of eight and a half hours since I applied the foundation and I have to say it's still looking amazing, it still looks really flawless. The eyeshadow hasn't budged at all. The contour not budged at all. So overall, I would highly recommend all of these products and I think they're all definitely worth it. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!